Hey everybody, Marwan here. I uh, thought I'd make a video just sketching some random stuff in Photoshop because uh, it's, it's been a while. I haven't done that in. Uh, I can't remember the last time I did it actually. And I'm going to be using. Uh, uh, sure, that's fine. I'll do 150. Bam! I'm gonna be using. If if you wonder what I'm sketching with. Because I get that question <clears throat> every now and then. Sorry about my throat. I don't know what's up with that. This is what I'm sketching with. It's an old Wacom or Wacom. I have no idea how to pronounce that because I hear both versions all the time. But it's a Wacom Intus, Intus 3 wide. Black edition. Black edition means it's black instead of gray. Super cool stuff. Let's just do something crazy here. Oh my god, it's lagging like crazy. Sorry guys, I, I think I have to restart Photoshop. Alright, let's fire it back up and hopefully it stopped lagging now. Come on! Okay, cool! We got it to work. Sweet. The solution to 99% of every computer problem ever is to restart the software or restart the computer. So let's uh, make something cool here. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Hopefully, I'm counting on my brain kicking in and telling me uh, this looks like something cool you can make. Uh, you can maybe make a uh, uh, you know a product out of this shape. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe my brain kicks in. Maybe not. I know what's missing. I need some music up in here. So I found this mix uh, a couple of days ago. It's pretty sick, if you want to check it out. It looks like it's the original one, but it's definitely not. It, this, this is sick. We could make some, maybe... Uh, we could make a helmet out of this, if we want to. So I just made a new layer and... Uh, <coughs> selected the... The, uh, the airbrush, large white airbrush here. Uh, I'm gonna use the Use whatever you like. If you want smooth, smoother gradients and transitions, you might want to use the airbrush. And if you want uh, sharper ones, use a sharper eraser for what you just sketched. It's really simple, my the technique I use at least. It's not that complicated. Cool. So I'm just adding some features now to the sketch. Trying to figure out exactly how I want this to look. We can copy this edge that we did right there. Just uh, right click and duplicate layer. Maybe move it up a bit. Let's define the silhouette a bit more. So when you're doing this, this is what I like to do. Uh, I, I really enjoy sketching things. Just sketching shapes weird shapes and figure out as I go what it is that I want to sketch. I think it's a really good uh, way of practicing your imagination. Uh, sketching without any rules whatsoever. The one rule is to just have fun. Sounds super cheesy. Sounded way cheesier coming out of my mouth <laughs> than I than I expected, but it's true, just have fun.
I want to add some parting line here to uh, make a <clears throat> border or line between the two different materials that I want to visualize. So I'm doing the same thing over and over again, just uh, keep adding features, adding details as you go, play around with it, see what works, see what you like, try new things. Photoshop is the safest place for you to sketch because you can always undo. So just go crazy. So you can make these highlights as intense as you want. And you make them more intense by just increasing the brush size. When you zoom out, it looks kind of cool. This one is too intense though, so I'm going to go back. Erase that. And since this line here has a highlight, this line down here should have a highlight on the same spot. I'm gonna put that out. Cool. And it's kind of missing something in here. So, uh... Let's figure out something to do about that. So let's, uh, I'm using the same thing here again, I'm using the, the uh, a large airbrush and then I'm using the eraser to erase the, uh, to define the shape that I want, to, to define the design that I want in here. And I think this looks kind of cool, actually. Just a plain white surface. With a shadow that goes like that. Looks cool. I think I'm gonna keep it. Now I want to just uh, make a bit of a contrast where the design or where the head is ending on this side here. And let's make some feature right here. Something that breaks this smooth surface. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna fast forward this video now until the end because it's already 26 minutes. So uh, I'll see you at the end of the video.
All right, so there you have it guys. It's a weird space alien helmet or something like that. It's a lot of fun to sketch stuff like this when you don't have to think about uh, manufacturing and all of those crazy things. So I hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.